Hi everybody, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and today we're looking at the Android Mini Tablet from Niamcom. This is basically the same device that was shown at CES earlier this year. This is the sister device to the Memory Kick Vision Tablet by Niamcom, which will be launching in the second half of 2011. This device here has a 3.5 inch capacitive touch display uh, versus the 4.3 inch of the Vision Tablet. This device has four gigabytes of flash memory uh, to the Vision Tablet's 500 gigabyte hard disk drive, but this device actually has every other feature of the Vision Tablet, and that's why we're using it as a, an example of what the Vision Tablet will be able to do when it launches in the second half of 2011. So this device runs Gingerbread 2.3 operating system and it has the full capabilities of that operating system. So you can download all the Android apps, uh, anything that you would normally download, such as Angry Birds, all that kind of stuff. Uh, here we have a set of uh, touch sensitive buttons on the front of the screen, as well as a one physical button for locking and unlocking the device. On the side, you have the volume rocker here to turn the volume up and down. You also have a very unique feature in a full USB connection, so you can actually hook up your thumb drive to this device and transfer files uh, from your thumb drive, whether they be office documents, movies, uh, photos, that kind of thing, and actually, you know, transfer it to the uh, embedded memory or, or stream content directly from your thumb drive. Pretty unique feature. Here's the HDMI output, so you can actually connect this to an LCD TV, that kind of thing, and actually stream content from the device directly to an LCD, be it games, uh, whether you're watching movies, anything that's on the screen of the device will stream through the HDMI out connection. This is a very unique feature for this device. You'd, you'd be hard pressed to find another device out there with that capability. On the bottom of the device, you have the HDMI input. So this, you can actually hook up to something such as a Blu-ray player or something like that and be able to project that content uh, via the embedded laser Pico projector on the device. So again, another really nice, unique feature of these Android tablets. Here is the mini USB connection for hooking the device up to a PC or charging the device. Uh, on the other side of the device, you actually have the embedded laser Pico projector. This uh, projects 848 by 480 or WVGA resolution. Uh, again, because it's a laser base, it produces really vivid, saturated colors. Uh, with high contrast, so it's a really nice projection engine for a device like this. And here is the actually on-off button, the physical button, to turn that projector on and off. And also it has a micro SD memory slot that's expandable to 64 gigabytes of storage. So that really uh, maximizes your storage capability of this device, as well as uh, enhances the 500 gigabytes of the Vision Tablet. And on the top we have a headphone jack. So all in all, really nice uh, device. On the bottom, we actually have the camera that's capable of recording up to 720p HD video. So a very nice feature. It has the embedded speaker. It also has a kickstand on the bottom of the device. So you can actually, uh, if you're projecting content, for example, you can angle it on the table, as you can see here, and be able to project that at an angle so you don't have to stack it on top of books or this kind of thing. So really nice to have that feature on this device. And as well, it does have a micro fan to remove some of the heat of the device because it does pack a lot of technology. Uh, but that's a very minor uh, feature there. So all in all, a really sleek looking product. Looks basically identical to an Android phone. Really nice device. Feels really solid in the hand. Uh, a really handsome, sleek looking phone. So it has a number of features that we'll go into on some other videos. Uh, it has a, a wide range of applications for office management, office document management, uh, movies, uh, all kinds of games. Any apps that you can get on the Android operating system, you can get with the Android mini tablets from Niantown. And we're going to go into all of those in some other videos. Here we're showing you some of the physical features of the device. So you can navigate using the different touch buttons, uh, which I'll show you shortly. It's just a really good looking device. It has every feature of a modern smartphone that you'd expect 
save for the cellular, cellular network card. And uh, essentially, you could make uh, phone calls with this device because it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and you can actually use Skype with this device. So it essentially is a smartphone. So here we're actually going to show you a little bit of the operating system of the Android Mini tablet from Niantown. Again, it's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and you can see that it has the nice layout of an Android device, as you can see. It has the multiple screens with the Android Marketplace, and uh, all different kinds of multiple screens where you can put different games and applications on different screens to navigate and organize your desktop, if you will, as you see has all the different Bluetooth Wi-Fi connectivity, of course. And we'll show some of those features in some of the other videos we're going to do. Here we're going to show you just a couple apps real quick on the device. Again, it has a, a three and a half inch capacitive touch display. Here are some of the apps that come standard on the device. You can scroll through, you can see different games, uh, CNN, these kinds of things. We'll go into some of those in more detail. On the home screen, you can see uh, a handful of apps that come on the device by default. Here we'll launch the internet browser, and actually we have people post pulled up. You can read articles, this kind of thing. Surf the web real quickly. It is a beautiful display. Uh, if we launch Image Ammo that we've shown a number of times on Pico Pros, uh, you can pull up different photo sets. In this case, we're going to open Paul Gerasi, which is great photography. And you'll see here that we can interact with images in a three-dimensional environment. And so you have different shapes for photo sets. You can pull up different images, zoom in, zoom out, that kind of thing. And we'll go into detail on that on some other videos as well. But really, here we just want to highlight the overall uh, features of the Android 2.3 device. Here's Adobe Reader, of course. And there are other apps on the device that will allow you to do all your office documents. Here we have Droid TV, where we can actually watch different television sh shows on the Android Mini tablet from Niantown. Here we have Family Guy, so we're going to watch a quick episode of Family Guy on the uh, Android Mini tablet. And so if you're on a plane or a train or something, you can watch different television shows or movies as you wish. It's really nice. And again, anything we see on the LCD here, you can project with the laser projector or uh, connect to an, uh, an HDMI input, uh, say an LCD TV, that kind of thing. So you can really maximize the way you use your content on your device. And this is really unique to the Android Mini tablet from Niantown. A lot of other devices really limit what you can access through the HDMI port. Here, we have the full uh, operating system at our disposal to watch what we want, when we want and as well through the laser Pico projector that's embedded in the device. So it's a really unique offering from Niantown here. And you can see, even on the LCD, it's really bright, great colors, and uh, just a really smooth operating system. Of course, it is the newest operating system from Google, and so it, it's a really nice setup. So we can go through and, uh, again, go through some of the applications here. Uh, in this case, um, Maybe we'll take a look at Angry Birds. I think uh, that would be fun to play on the device here. I'll show you that real quick. So if we bring up Angry Birds, you can see we got a game started. And uh, so we're playing Angry Birds on this nice Android mini tablet, that kind of thing. And we'll show you that in more detail as we go. Again, it does have the 720p uh, camcorder built into it. A five megapixel camera, I should say. Uh, so it does have an HD capable uh, sensor in that uh, setup. So really nice. So all this is packed into a really nice, compact, uh, beautiful device from Niantown. And we'll go into that in more detail. But until then, I'm going to leave it here. Again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com. Stay tuned for more.